Woodsy Summercraft here. Today I've got a piece of oak on the lathe. Uh, now this is purely for demonstration purposes of using Hampshire Sheen's colours. Now always the way I've done it in the past is I will sand it as immaculately as I can to 320. Then I would clean it with denatured alcohol. Then I would use the colours. Then I would seal it once it's dry it and then use Yorkshire Grit and Hampshire Sheen to finish it. Now somebody has asked me if you can apply Hampshire Sheen colours after you seal the wood, not before you seal the wood. And honestly I'm not 100% sure because they're water based dyes and once you've sealed the wood you've kind of eliminated the potential for the colour to penetrate the wood somewhat. So we're going to find out. So I'm going to clean this with denatured alcohol right now. Then I'm going to give it a few coats of uh, Mylan's cellulose based sanding sealer. So that is now pulled the dirt out of the wood, the sawdust. This was dry sanded, just standard, just dry sandpaper. So uh, I didn't apply any oil or anything to it. Now what I'm going to do is shake the Mylan sanding sealer open up the tin, I'm going to stop the lathe, we're going to apply this while it's stationary. What I'm going to do actually is apply sanding sealer to half of it, not all of it. So we'll have a good comparison in the one piece with a little bit of end grain and side grain. So we'll get a good comparison as to how the colour adheres to the wood once it's been sealed and before it's been sealed as well. let that dry and then put another coat on. So as you can see I've put a line down the middle and an X on either side of this line which is the side that's sealed. Um, so this side here is just how I would normally do it and uh, with my color chart I'm going to pick a color. I've picked um, honey which I really like which is a light color so I'll go with a darker color first. We'll go with burnt orange We'll go with burnt orange first and then we'll go with honey. Now I'm just going to apply this uh, over the whole piece and see what we come up with. I'm going to put a glove on first. And then we'll just apply the color over to the whole piece. And then you guys can make up your own mind what you think. I can already tell. I think it is not going on the sealed side like it should. Or at least like you would expect it to. Like it does on this, this side, the, un, the unsealed side. We'll soon find out as we get through this. So we'll let that dry. And then we'll go with our honey. We'll maybe uh, denib it a little bit with a scouring pad. I don't really want to sand it because then you'll be taking away the sanding sealer and it's not really going to give you a true result. So that's dry. I'm just going to burnish it a little bit. We should also help dry it. I'll 
Okay, so you can see a difference already. This is the side that wasn't sealed. This is the side that was sealed. So I'm going to just dry that, let that dry, and then I'll put my other coat on. This side is already dry because I think I just basically wiped the colour back off. It didn't absorb into the wood. Okay, so that's dry enough now. I'm going to go with uh, a lighter colour, ruby. And what we, uh, no honey, what we might even do is blot some black in there just to see because that's really going to tell you, isn't it? Normally I would sand this colour, the previous colour back. But for this experiment, I'm not going to. I'm just going to apply it and then uh, see where we're at. So you can see it's soaking into the unsealed side really nicely. To me, this still looks like oak on the sealed side. So with these colours, normally I would go from dark, progressively lighter. But I, di I didn't want to go as dark as black, but I think what I might do is put some black on as well, just to see what happens. I'm going to burnish that in again to dry it. And again, you can see this side was not sealed. This side was sealed. There is a little bit of color there, but not the effect that you would be looking for. So just for fun, let's go back to a dark color. Um, where's my black? Plum green. There's black. So now we're really gonna give it a true test. Because if black doesn't soak into it, then, well, what can you say? Okay, again, with the lathe standing still, I'm only going to do this to half of it, too, across the two. This is purely for an experiment, because I was asked. kind of figured I knew what the results would be and now you're seeing them firsthand so you make up your own mind whether you think you should seal the wood prior to Hampshire Sheen intrinsic dyes which are water based and again I'm going to uh, buff that across And you can see the difference. I'm going to bring you in, you can take a really close look at it, and you can see the difference. Again, this is the dividing line. This side was sealed prior to Hampshire Sheen intrinsic dyes. This side was not sealed. This is the effect you're looking for. What you would then do is you would cut this back with sandpaper, and you would uh, mix and match the colors to achieve the effect that you're looking for. This is not the effect that I don't, I don't think this is the effect you're looking for. You, uh, it just doesn't work. So there it is. Don't seal the wood prior to Hampshire Sheen intrinsic dyes, guys. You take care now. Bye.